it's a sleepy little hollow now. Now that COVID's well and truly got a grip on things. This is googlemo.com. Googling the moment. And we're in the moment in Ohakuni. And what a moment. It's only running at 10% compared to last year. The new world is just about empty and that's normally humming with people during the weekend, even during the week. So there's the remnants of the winter of, on Mount Ruapehu, we've still got a wee bit of snow. Look at those trees, absolutely awesome. Barb outfit's my favourite. But the mountain rocks is normally chock a block. Yes, Ahakuni, 2020. Look at this. What do you see most of? Sold, sold, sold. What does that tell you? Grouse day, eh? Say? Grouse day. Beautiful day. Yep. Oh. You know, this time last year, uh, Kearney was vibrant, buzzing with people. Look at it now. COVID's just done the damage, hasn't it? We were in Rotorua a couple of days ago. Yeah. Rotorua? Yeah. No one. Then, then you, you, you go to uh, uh, Napier or uh, Gisborne. Yeah. Found even good accommodation there. Is that right? It's, it's chalk and rock. That's because it's coastal. It's, uh, and uh, the, the, the thing is that uh, the biggest problem, in my opinion, is Kiwis, when they go overseas, they spend like mad. Yeah. There's no tomorrow. If they have to go on a holiday in, in their own country, yes. they won't do a budget. Right. Everything needs to be water line. Right. Right. And that is, that's a big problem. Mm. Are you still filming? Yes, I hope you don't mind, but this is a uh, website for the people. It's called googlemo.com. And uh, I thought I'd take the opportunity, nice day, hardly any traffic. To put R. Cooney on film, I've got googlemo.com has 130 uploads on YouTube so far. For those people that can't get out and about, that are stuck at home, don't have the brass or the initiative, or for whatever reason they're at home, they might be night shift workers, 
you know, they might be, they might have large families and they just can't go anywhere. And um, a lot of them haven't seen New Zealand. They just don't know what New Zealand's all about. We've taken the opportunity now to do the last bits of New Zealand that we haven't travelled. Yeah. There were two roads in the North Island. Yeah. And one was uh, the road from Rotorua to Gisp to Wairoa. Uh, yes. Uh, from uh, Napier, from Hastings to, uh, to here, to uh, Okone, via the Finland. Yes. Uh, the only two main roads in the whole North Island that we hadn't travelled yet. Yeah. You know, if things keep going the way they are overseas, with everyone going back into lockdown, yeah. which is ridiculous because then they'll have revolts and riots, you can't go against the spirit of the people, they're better off to make it compulsory, everybody wears a mask. Yeah. Lockdown was good when we first uh, came into COVID because it was the fear of the unknown. But now we've got a measure on it, we know how to handle it, we know you know, how to safeguard ourselves. So masks, you know, hand washing, keeping our distance, but you can't stop people from congregating and going to cafes and restaurants and things like that. You just can't, that's ludicrous. How you do it? What you sure, do? that's what I mean, yeah. So Boris has gone crazy. I think he's still traumatised from, you know... Uh, we're very lucky to be here. Aren't we just? Last night we were watching the news. Yeah. Yeah. Nice to meet you people. Enjoy your stay while you're here and... I hope you have a safe journey wherever you're going. Yeah, we travel around. Yeah. Are from oh, you're from Fidianga? Yeah. Well, we could end up having the world to ourselves if things keep going this way. We'll see you later. Look at that. There's still an electrical shop going in the Cooney, which is good. For such a small population, I believe it's only 900 permanent residents, and tourists aren't going to go there. There used to be 1,500 people here 20 years ago or more. When I was raising my daughter, part-time of course, she used to come and spend the weekends here and yeah, Kearney was buzzing then with tourists but look at this, no one, the streets are empty, hey? The streets are empty And this is just this side of town. So on this side we have mainly sold houses there. Once again mainly sold. So Cooney's a good place to settle if you want to escape the uh, mayhem of big city traffic jams and things like that. And oh, Cooney could do with a bigger population. There's a wee bit of um, development going on down in the junction there. Subdivisions and things. So there's room. There's empty shops here if you want to get in. Get in now while you can retailers look at that they've been empty for mm, on and off 20 years the new world has just changed hands
Where's all the customers? <laughs> So we've got our attorney dental, chalet rentals and Bailey's. Bailey's. I wonder how they uh, got a chemist here. We did have a little cafe in there beside the bank. The bank's only open two days a week. We've got the uh, climbing wall in there, the vertigo climbing wall, which is quite impressive. And we've got the ski board bike shop across the road there, which is awesome. And we've got a bargain here, right on the corner for someone with entrepreneurial skills to come in and take it we need a hairdresser here we need a we need a gourmet delicatessen that's what we need we need that's got accommodation and it's quite quite a substantial site that there is the bargain and our uh, cooney should you want to come and buy it you'd be doing well because it's not going to stay like this forever that's for sure People find ways of dealing with um, government, stubborn governments and things that uh, we should never have gone into lockdown again. That was a mistake. That really uh, knocked Auckland around. It was just getting over the, um, the, first co the first lockdown and we went into a second one. That was unnecessary. They should have locked down the area. That's what they should have done. Compulsory masks and things like that. But to lock down again, we know what COVID is. We know how to manage ourselves around COVID. And uh, that's my opinion anyway. Whether it be the right thing to do, well, 